Hey, let's work on problem 17, 9 through 12 on page 433. Again, I want to show you how to complete this, these problems in Excel. I'll try to walk you through the formulas so that you can see how to use Excel to create the answers to this problem. So I entered in um, everything that's standard and everything else we're going to build as we go. So we've got our, um, well, and I didn't write in the, the given information. The Chevy um, Colorado is $25,000. The residual value is $5,000. And the estimated life is five years. So in this problem, we're using the declining balance method. And we're following the same steps that you did in the chapter. And if you watch the videos, they'll help you figure out how this is a good way to depreciate your equipment and kind of in a nutshell, you are um, depreciating it more quickly rather than having it be the same depreciation each year. You're depreciating it more at the beginning and less at the end. Um, and sometimes this is a preferred method for, for calculating your depreciation. All right, so um, in our year one, we have, of course, no accumulated depreciation because it's the beginning of the year and our book value of the truck is still at full value. So now to calculate the depreciation expense for the year, we want to multiply $25,000 by 40%. Um, and the 40% is calculated, if you'll just review on page 427, at the very bottom, it just shows you the quick steps of how to um, calculate um, the double rate depreciation. 100% over five years times two is 40%. Okay, so we can do that with Excel. Equal sign, 25,000 times 0.4, or you could type 40 and then the percent sign, and we'll get $10,000. So for our first year, we just have $10,000. I want to show you a trick here. Mm, nope, that won't work. Never mind. <laughs> Scratch that. Okay, just put, putting in $10,000 for accumulated. We'll have a formula on the next row. And then book value at the end of the year in H4. Start with your equal sign. And then we're going to start with the book value at the Uh, or the cost of the truck minus the accumulated depreciation at the end of the year, coming up with 15000 Okay, let's move on to the second year. So now in the second year, our accumulated depreciation is the same number that comes from G4. In this case, we're going to use a formula to to bring that over here. So we're just going to hit the equal sign. And we're going to click on G4 and tap Enter. And that's just going to make a copy of what's in cell G4 and place it there. That'll work great for this. Next, the book value at the beginning of the year. I will do the same type thing. Equal sign, click over on H4, hit Enter. All right, and then our depreciation expense should be the same formula that we used above. So we're going to um, multiply 15,000 by four, uh, 40%. So we can just copy this down with a fill handle. So we get $6,000 for our second year depreciation. Our accumulated depreciation, then we need a formula here. Equal sign last year's depreciation plus the second year's depreciation, enter. Okay, and then our book value at the end of the year, we should be able to copy the same formula down. Select the fill handle, pull it down. Our book value is now $9,000. We're gonna do this line by line. It takes a little extra work, but you kind of learn a little bit better, I think. Okay, so now our accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year is um, 16,000, right? But we're going to now copy this down. Copy down the 10,000 from D5. Use your fill handle, bring it down. 
So it's grabbing G5, putting it there for us. Okay. The um, book value at the beginning of the year, we're also going to um, copy the same formula down. So um, place your mouse on E5, use the fill handle, pull it down. It's grabbing the 9,000 for us, that's perfect. Okay, our depreciation expense for the year, we should be able to again copy down the formula. Awesome. The accumulated depreciation, we should be able to copy down. Awesome. And the book value at the end of the year, again, we should be able to copy down. Great. Okay, so now for the last line, we should be able to copy them all down. And we should be able to do it all at the same time. So if we place our mouse in D6, we use the white um, plus sign uh, symbol on your mouse, click and hold and drag across all of those D6 through H6, then take the fill handle down. We should um, see our formula come down correctly on all of them, but we have some thinking to do here. Okay, so our accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year, 19,600. Our book value at the beginning of the year is $5,400. Now recall that our residual value of this uh, vehicle is 5000 We cannot depreciate under $5,000. So we just have to change our depreciation expense for that final year, and we just have to put in $400, because that's all we have left to take out of our um, book value, because we can't go down past 5000 Okay, so then we end up with our accumulated depreciation of $20,000, that makes sense and then our book value at the end of the year is 5,000. So this number, F7, depreciation for the um, end of year four, um, ha you have to manually manipulate. You can't use a formula to get that because we can't go under um, $5,000. All right, hope this helps.